Hello and welcome to another episode of Do You Ever Wonder What We Do In Your House? Today we're going to talk about a valent system boiler. We've spoken about valent combination boiler, this time it's a valent system boiler. So, how do we top up the valent system boiler? It's a bit different than the combi boiler because the combi boiler has it underneath the boiler. A system boiler has an external filling loop. In this case the external filling loop is quite accessible and also there's a pressure gauge on this one so it makes it a bit easier as well. Also, on the boiler itself there's a pressure gauge. But when you have a fault on the boiler, it will show you F22 and it will keep flashing that uh, there's a low pre water pressure. And I'll show you how you can actually check your pressure without it flashing constantly. Press that top right button right there. And then press that again. It will take you into the pressure, which is bar. And then that will tell you how much pressure you have. So for example, when you top up the boiler and you don't always have a gauge, you don't want it to keep flashing between the F22 and the pressure. Okay, you want to see it consistently what your pressure is because at some point when you come to about 0.9 of a bar, that's when the boiler activates and then the pressure actually starts to change. So I'll show you how you can top it up. Okay, as my rule is always turn on one and then have your fingers on the other one so you can turn it on and control how much water you're putting in. Okay. So at the moment, we've got 0 0.3 bar pressure and we need to top it up. So first thing first, I'm going to turn on the cold water, which is the water inlet, which is one valve on the flexi hose. So sometimes it's next to the flexi hose. In this case, there's this something called an auto filling valve. But in this case, we left the auto filling valve in um, for specific reasons. So we'll leave that, auto, that, that filling valve open. So that's the cold. And then we slowly are going to use this one, the next one, which is going to allow the water into the heating system. So as I open it, water starts to go in. But at the same time, I want to monitor the pressure as I fill it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this valve and then slowly, as you can see on the boiler, the pressure will start to increase. And as the boiler is going to reach 1.5, the pump has kicked in. Once it reaches 1.5 bar, I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to turn off both valves. Okay. So there's the other valve. And I'm going to just turn that one off. So now they're both not in line with the pipe. And that's basically how the valve should be when it's off. Okay. When you finish um, with the boiler, once you finish topping it up, the boiler will start going into a cycle. Okay. And it will start purging the air out of the boiler. Once you're finished with the screen, you can click back on the screen and then that will take you to the home of the boiler. So just to show you again, you press the radiator button, which takes you to the target flow temperature where you can adjust the temperature for the heating. So we'll keep it at 70 for this. And then what we do is we go into the next one, which is bar. So in bar, we can see what how much pressure is in the boiler. Okay, And when you want to go back out of it, all you need to do is press back and that will take you to the home screen. As you can see, on the right column it will show you the pressure and on the left column it will show you the flame, how strong the flame is operating at the time. Once that is flashing it means there's a demand for heat and that's showing that the boiler has actually got a, got a demand. It could be the hot water, it could be the heating, it could be anything that's asking for the boiler to turn on at the time. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, comment and just subscribe because there will be a lot more videos on how to do certain things with your boiler. Stay tuned to the next one. Bye bye.